Welcome to your second favorite day of the week, Friday. No, your first. First, the very first. This is your favorite weekend. Yeah, my third. So wouldn't that make Saturday or Sunday your favorite day of the week? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Saturday, Monday. Sunday. This is Friday, the eighth of November, year of our Lord, twenty nineteen. Eighth of November, by the way. There's a song written about that day, a very tragic day in uh, U.S. military history where uh, during the Vietnam War, a uh, really bad day for America, 8th of November, 19th, I forget what exactly year, 65, I think. Anyway, I said the 8th of November and that song came into my mind. Uh, we are going to go over the answers to lowest common multiples, lowest common denominators, therefore we give them the same name, and then... We can compare them and put them in order. And after that, we'll have some fun with exponents. So let's go. Number 11 on page 194. You should have put the greater than sign between 3 and 1 4 and 1312. I did that one on the board yesterday, and it was plain to see that 13 over 4 is clearly greater than. Then 13 over 12, if you remember to understand that if your numerators are the same, as the denominator gets larger, the fraction actually gets smaller, just like you remember these days. Obviously, 1 half is greater than 1 16th, because if the numerators are the same, as the denominator gets larger, the fraction gets smaller. Because education is repetition, I'm going to say it again, just in case next time you come across this, you're not real sure. Jonathan, we said this one should have been rather easy for you because as the numerator stays the same, as the denominator gets larger, the fraction actually gets smaller. Number 12, you put an equal sign between those. As soon as you did 5 times 6 plus 1, boom. 31 over 6. Number 13, you put a less than sign. Yes. Because 5 11 turns into 25 50 fifths. Yes, sir. Uh, Later. Number 14, follow along. You put a greater than sign in between. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Number 15, oh, yeah. you put a greater than sign in between. Yes. Oh, yeah. Number 16, you put a less than sign in between. Yes. And here's how you did number 17. 1 8. Oh, yes, I did. 5 16. Yes. Even Lauren can do this. Oh, One half. Oh, no. I mean, uh, is he going to let that die? Are we going to do this every day? Every day. Yes, no. I'm kidding, Lauren. Got enough I, knew she, I knew she was tough enough to handle the joke. I can handle it. All right. 1 8. You understand? Listen, using your math sense, Seth could have done Seth could have done this. Five sixteenths is just a tad more than one fourth. So that's obviously more than one eighth and less than a half. You with me? Did you follow what I did there? Did you see what I did there, Preston? I saw five sixteenths is like almost one fourth. Easily. That's the order they go in. <coughs> Number eighteen. Five fourths, one and a half, eleven sixths. And using math sense like Rachel, she's like five fourths, that's just a little more than one. One and a half is a lot is more than one. And eleven sixths is almost two. See what I did there, Ethan? I don't want to distract you from doing it the way you're supposed to do it, by finding the lowest common denominator, but I also want to introduce to you math sense and using mental math. I know it's confusing sometimes because you're like, don't they want us to show our work all the time? Why is he always saying use mental math? Because they do go together. Use mental math, and that one should not have been too rough. Number 19. It should go 15 sixteenths, 5 thirds, 
35 fifteenths, two and two fifths. The 35 fifteenths and the two and two fifths are really close. Because when you change 35 fifteenths into a mixed number, you get two and two and one third. So two and one third is close to two and two fifths. All right, everybody good? The whole week, Dominic. What's the whole week been about? What about fractions? Finding common denominators. A, so that eventually we'll be able to add and subtract fractions. B, so we'll be able to compare their values. Right? How do we find lowest common denominator? The lowest common denominator is the lowest common multiple. How do we find the lowest common multiple? Remember we read it seven times on Monday? Lowest common multiple is you do your prime factorization and you use all the factors to their highest power. That's, listen, use all the factors to their highest power. If you just keep it that simple, use the KISS method. Say that to yourself right now. Use all the factors to their highest power. That's it. And let me add some cognitive dissonance. You know what that is? That's when you purposely throw something in there that might confuse you, but then you work through that confusion. That's different than greatest common factor, which some of you finally got over. You don't confuse those anymore. Greatest common factor, you find the prime factors, and you multiply only the ones that are in common. Remember, with lowest common multiple, the commonality doesn't even matter. You use them to their highest power. All right, you ready for some fun? No. Oh. Turn the page. Rules of exponents. They spend page 196 and 197 to explain something as simple as this. If I have two numbers that have the same base, let's say I have 2 squared times 2. What's the exponent above the what's the exponent above this 2 even though it's not there? One. It's understood to be 1. So what would 2 squared times 2 equal? Somebody raise your hand and tell me if you were doing that problem, what would be the answer? Yes. It would be 8. Why? Because this would be 4 times 2 equal 8. Well, watch this. Here's the rule. When you're adding two or you're multiplying two numbers that have the same base, you add the exponents. What do you mean? What would the exponent be there? One. What's two plus one? Three. What's two cubed? Eight. Eight. Okay. So here's the here's what we're learning today. It's it's to me. If I was you, doing all this prime factorization and finding common multiples and all that stuff, this would be like a refreshing Friday. When you have the same base, just add the exponents. Okay, let's change it from a 2. Let's make this an x. What if I had x squared times x? What do you think my answer is going to be? It's going to be x cubed because it's going to be x to the 2 plus 1 x cubed, just like the 2 was cubed. Make sense? What if I had x cubed times x squared? What's the answer going to be? Um, x. X to the fifth. Why, Rachel? Isn't this, is this refreshing? When you're multiplying two yes. like bases, just add the exponents. And the other part of today's lesson is this. I'm going to let you guess. What do you think you do when you divide two like bases? What do you think you're going to do to their exponents? What do you think you would do if I gave you x cubed divided by x squared? Use your math sense. What would you do since multiplication and division are opposites, and when you multiply two like bases, you add the exponents, what are you going to do if you divide two like bases? Ethan, subtract. So the answer is going to be x, because 3 minus 2 is 1. Yes? Uh, what if it was um, x squared 
divided by two. We'll get to that next week. Because oh. <laughs> you'll be surprised to find out that there are such things as negative exponents. Oh. David's question was David's question was, what if it was x squared minus or divided by x cubed? You would have to do 2 minus 3. Is that possible? Yeah. The answer is yes, but you don't have to deal with it on this refreshing Friday. All right, so let's prove this now. Let's go back to numbers. What if this was 2 cubed divided by 2 squared? According to this, we would say the answer is going to be 2. two. Let's see if that works. What's 2 cubed? 8. What's 2 squared? Four. four. What's eight divided by four? Two. Two. See how that works? Everybody good? Here's your work. Look at that. Look how fast we did that. Kira. Yeah. You're going numbers one through thirty-five. Go. You got twenty-seven minutes, and all you're doing is adding and subtracting extra. So we And it's going to take you like three seconds to do some of them. Really? Yes. 35. One through 35, pages 198. Kim, we're almost on page 200. Let's go apart and tell you where I'm going. Yep. Kira, you don't understand how easy I made it on you. Hey, First of all, we're just asking you, hey. Just yes or no. Three no. through six is just yes or no. Oh, wait, what? Five through six? Three through six is just a yes or no question. Why? Okay, what are they trying to establish for? Hold on, Rich. What are they trying to establish in your mind in numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6? The answer to number 4 is no, because they're not like bases. Hello? That's what they're doing in 3, 4, 5, and 6. Your answer to number 4 is no, because you're not going to take 7 squared times 2 to the 7th and add them and make 9. No, because their bases are not the same. This is only true if the bases are the same. Then you add the exponents. Then you subtract the exponents. Can't combine unlike bases. Yes? Is there a space for exponent? Power or exponent? They're look, how's the question yeah. worded? Seven is the exponent. Yeah. They're, they're looking for exponent. Sometimes we call it the power. In that sentence, they're looking for the word exponent. Yes? Number seven. Four squared times four to the fourth. I'm not going to do it on board, Sid, because are they like bases? No. They're both fours? So your answer is going to be four. Add two plus four. Four to the sixth. If the bases are the same and you're multiplying, add the exponents. Willie. Notice when you get to number 15, what they tried to do? They tried to multiply the bases together. No. David, yes. don't multiply the bases together. Just keep the base and add the exponents. Or keep the base if you're dividing and subtract the exponents. Keep in mind that next week on Monday, we'll tackle David's question. You can actually have negative exponents. And we'll also tackle, I think I brought this up two months ago. Does anybody remember what the answer is if the exponent is zero? Zero. It's just one. The answer is always one. Good job, Lauren and Dominic. Yeah. If you ever end up in a situation next week, Noah, we're going to tackle something like x squared divided by x cubed. Whoa. You mean 
x to the negative 1, is that possible? We're going to find out it is. But we're also going to do this, Noah. What if it's x cubed divided by x cubed? 3 minus 3 is, so what's x to 0? 1. Yeah. Because think about it. x cubed divided by x cubed is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Right? 8 over 8, 1. Million over a million, one. X cubed over X cubed, one. Three minus three, zero. One. Thanks, Jordan. Hi, Tony. Hi, Joanna. Johnny. Somehow, thanks, Jordan. That's so her name starts with the, I get it. Her name starts with a J, Johnny. and it made you think of Johnny and Julia. Yeah. And that's Sawyer, of course. He doesn't start with a J, but. Yes, Johnny. Sawyer's good Johnny. at basketball. So. Yeah. So is Johnny. 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 You're going to lose this you know the Squealers and Browns and Clowns play yeah. Thursday. Yeah. They play? That's, I wonder if they're going to win. I got it. You know, I got it. You know what I'm going to I still hope. You lost against Denver. You're going to lose against Buffalo. They lost at Denver. And we're probably going to lose the Rams. It's going to be a hope. Our game against the Rams is going to be all the defense. Our defense doesn't show up. We're going to lose the Rams. They're doing negative in 25. No, Three squared times three to four is three to the six. Twenty-five. Okay. Are your bases the same? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll take it more. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to number 25, Cam, when you get to 25, don't let that negative sign bother you. Are they the same base? Cam, are the, are the bases both negative 4? Okay. Keep that base and add the exponents. Nothing changes. The bases are the same, so add the exponents, 2 plus 3. Okay, now, when I gave the assignment, I heard grumble, 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 moan, 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 groan, 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 complain, 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 from someone at this table over here. And seven minutes later, she's acting like she's done. Who's that? Yeah. I'm guessing she's going to have to. Are you done? You did all 35. I didn't give enough homework. No, 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 not 36. Why not? Yeah, See, why? I'm glad I brought this up because. <laughs> no, I finally learned that. Enough. No, but no, but listen, listen. You're starting at zero, right? Yeah. And you count one, two, three, four. How many is that? 35. One to 35. Yeah. But when you do 11 to 19, you're starting at 10, and you go 11. Uh. Yes, we do. But 11 to 19 is nine numbers. He's like, because it's not, yeah. Yeah. I hope so. You may. All right, Julie.
family of Johnny and Sawyer. Hopefully you're getting done as quickly as they are. Have a great weekend. Veterans Day coming up. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Johnny. You guys hey, red, white, and blue day Monday. Johnny, The older brother Bryce, he's like in severe depression right now because he's not watching. Johnny, you're awesome. Uh, Johnny, Preston's worried you don't know who he is. Yeah. This is he. Johnny, you know, you know who I am. Like, I love it, but it's cool. You're